All right, so hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, today we're going to be doing pick a card reading, what blessings coming to you, all that sort of stuff, right? So, kind of just take a moment to pick whatever pile is calling to you. And, you know, there's a couple things that you could do. All right, first off, first link in the description down below for personal reading. And then you'll see a bunch of other things in the description. One thing you could do is you could become a member on the channel, get access to all those perks, or Patreon. All right, link to that is in the description down below. Uh, for members, you just click the big join button. Okay, but either way, just pick whatever pile is calling to you. Take a moment, pick whichever one. We have pile number one with the dark blue lipstick here, which you can find on my Etsy shop. Link to that is in the description down below, as well as my Oracle cards right here. Pile number two, with this sort of green blue lipstick. And then pile number three, with this dark gray. Okay. Alright, so for those of you that chose pile number one, I like this color, it's pretty cool. We have number 21. Oh my god, my computer. Number 21 was Saturn. Number 11 was Sagittarius. Number 10 with Pisces. Alright, so you could be a Pisces. Or Sagittarius, or maybe if you have a person that could be uh, their sign or their placements, or maybe you have these placements in Saturn. Also, want to point out that Saturn is Capricorn's planet. So, we, oh, where's oh these are the actual cards. We have the King of Wands, which goes well with the Sagittarius. This is like more confirmation of that. We have the what is this? Seven of Wands. Make sure that you see these cards. I love holographic cards, especially like this rainbow sort of metallic finish. We have the strength card. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Moon, which as you can see in this deck is Pisces. We have the Nine of Wands. I'm not sure if you guys can see that well, but I am trying. <laughs> we have uh, the Ten of Wands. We have number seven, Waxing Crescent. Number five, with the Nourishment. I like these cards. These are very pretty cards. Number 28, with Waxing Crescent. Also number five with peace. You have number five with secret doorway, working with intuition, second slight opening, dimensional doorways. We have number 14 with light, the darkness, ancestors, ancestral line, generational shift. We have, this doesn't have a number, but magic. We have Aquarius. You're very close to achieving your goal with Gibeous Moon. It's time to take action, New Moon and Aries. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Then we have dreams. Alright, so we have a lot going on with this pile right here. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, which is water. Okay. 
Okay. One thing it's wanting to point out, there's like, oh my goodness. Starting with your tarot. This feels like a, this is magic right here. All right. You're unlocking some magic here. All right, something that was hidden from you before. You see this door that is now open to you. All right, this is like a different gateway, a different dimension here, especially with the moon. The moon can represent magic, like sort of magic mystical stuff here. Okay. It's time to take action towards that King of Wands with this Aries card. You're very close to achieve. What it feels like here is that you are going to be achieving a lot of your goals here, but it feels like that's with magic. It feels like you've been having dreams of this, of you achieving this. The reason why I'm saying that we have magic, we have this, we have all this, these cards here, of like nourishment, peace, all that stuff. And this is like a generational line here. All right? So you're not really the first in your family. Like That could be like Aquarius as the first here, like the first lineage. All right. Wow. You can really choose what you want in your life. And you can also choose not to take action at the same time. But either way, I see you just being able to get what you want. And I feel like, like I said before, it feels like you've unlocked this, this gateway, this door right here of magic. Okay. Queen of Cups is also like another sort of intuitive sort of psychic card. So it feels like you are diving deeper into this. Okay. This is a very powerful sort of mystical energy right here. Not really energy, but spirit and all that sort of stuff, right? Or it feels like you're completely in tune. You're having this, this all being unlocked to you. And I see you being able to get whatever it is you want. If I'm honest. Once again, it all starts with you taking those steps. It's time to take action. It is time. It is time. Right now. You understand? So, pile number one. I'm going to move on to pile number two. And see you there. Alright, so, pile number two. We have number 12, Scorpio. Number 9, with Pisces. Number 5, with Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or if you have a partner, this could be their sign or their placements. Uh, we have a 3 of Cups. We have the Fool. The Sun. 9 of Cups. Page of Wands, Chariot, Queen of Swords, the Hierophant. Number 42, Lunar God, the Masculine. Number 36, Green Corn Moon with Patience. We have Paired. Illusion. We have number 41, Mother and Daughter. Mothering, teaching, sharing, knowledge, nurturing, self-worth. Number 34, with Glimpse. Indigo, Rainbow, Crystal, Children, and Beyond. Justice. You can't see that over there. I don't know where to put it. I'll just put it there. We have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. The energy is gaining momentum. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So let's see what's on your mind here. Okay, let's discuss it. Okay. 
what it feels like for you looking at the cards here well you ask and you shall receive do you understand you ask the moon god moon goddess here you know it is coming in this is divine justice here okay what i also feel like it feels like you're getting glimpse of your future family of your future children glimpse mother and daughter okay look at this cards i feel like that's this new thing coming into your life i don't really feel like romantic i just want to feel like a child and i think you're having this glimpse of future this in the future maybe that's causing some worry or maybe you're just like kind of overthinking it um but yeah, things are going to be picking up. It's time to be patient because it's all coming in. And I feel like that's this paired thing. Like you and your future child. And what I also feel like is that... See, I see that. And then I see your romantic love. Because obviously you're going to need someone to, <laughs> to help you with that, right? Uh, I see you reuniting with someone here that you're going to be paired with. I think there's an illusion and fear around this not going well or them being with someone else. That's an illusion. All right, your fears about this situation, that's that's not real, okay? But yeah, I see you reuniting with the, with the person here. And it feels like you've asked, and now you're getting it. You ask, and you receive it. So you wished for it, and it is coming into your life. Alright? You have God delivering here. Wishes come true. But yeah, page of, pen, or page of wands, that's a child. Child. bringing that new life into the future but also reuniting with someone to create that person all right also see your own mother here so it's gonna be like teaching them what your mother has taught you like spiritually here And that is honestly what I see for you. Okay. So I'm going to move on to pile number three. And I'll see you there. Alright, so pile number three. The dark gray. Let's get into it. Number 24 with the moon. Number four with cancer. Number 19 with Neptune. Alright, so you could be a Cancer, your person could be a Cancer, or they have Cancer Moon, or Neptune, or something like that, right? We have the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, which is Cancer, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, the Sun, the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, Number 15 with Waxing Dibius. Number 6 with Action. Number 10 with Waxing Dibius. Number 1 with Discernment. We have Anubis. Uh, Sagittarius. Number 17 with Acorns Invitation. Touch, Exchange, Connection. Number 28 with once was innocent. Knowledge means change. We have manifestation. What do you need to release? Waning moon. Hold your vision with fixed moon. Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, new beginning, new start, something growing here. Okay, so...
you have your other half here that I feel like you're having a new start with. Now, one thing that I feel for you, I feel like the same person is watching all these piles. Either the same person or this person and their partner is watching these piles. Because <laughs> that is what it feels like here. Quite heavily looking at it. It's kind of like a continuation, all right, of each one. All right, but I do see a new start happening between you and your other half here. We have the sun with the two of pentacles. Okay, it feels like you've both been missing one another here. All right. Both been feeling kind of disappointed about how things were left off. And I see communication. I think you are going to be taking action towards this person here. Or you're going to be discerning between which actions you should take towards this person. Communication. Yeah, communication is coming in. It feels like you are manifesting. There's an invitation here. An invitation to connect with one another. Okay? So I need to hold your vision here. Anubis represents justice in this deck. Okay? So it feels like, once again, there's justice coming in. There's that justice in the last pile. Things are being, being just between you and this person. Okay? And once was innocent. This actually talks about magic right here. You learning uh, that you can do magic or that you are magical or you have some magical qualities. Okay? So that is becoming, like you're having this invitation towards it as well to manifest what you desire. Okay? I feel like that's this person. It's either you're Sagittarius or they're Sagittarius here. Because we have Sagittarius wanting to come up. But that's that is why I said it feels like this is like a continuation of all the other piles. And I see you really discerning heavily between, should I do it or shouldn't I? Well, you are having this invitation for a reason here. Hmm. This is very interesting. Ah, oh, my foot hurts. But yeah, that is what I feel. Like you're having this invitation to really just bring in what you want. What do you want? You want this person? You want your business to be growing? You want a home? What do you want? You have that ability to manifest what you want. Okay? So. That is all I have for you, and like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.